the halfback came off the bench to guide his side to victory as the Eagles came through a tough second half to record a vital two points in their fight against relegation. Brown, still heavily strapped after damaging his knee in the victory over Rockdale, gave director of rugby Mark Aston a major boost by coming on for the final quarter of the game, but the experienced operator admitted he had to come through the pain barrier a little as he continues to strive for full fitness. I wanted to play last week, but my knee still wasn't quite right, Brown confirmed to the star, it is still probably 80% at the moment, but he, Mark Aston, said he was going to put me on the bench this week. Whatever he says, you have to go with it, he's the leader of the team. It was nice to be back out there. It isn't quite 100% but I am getting there and it was great to get 30 minutes against Batley. I felt a little rusty, but in the final quarter we just got a little more direction and control which was needed. I was happy to play my part and in the end we closed it out well, whilst it may not have been the performance that Aston was looking for, the result was a welcome boost and moved the Eagles four points clear of the drop zone. Brown agreed with his coach that the Eagles were their own worst enemy at times, but conceded that the most important factor was the result, we gave away too much ball and when we needed to kick on, we let them off the hook a little, he admitted, it was the Result we needed though, and in the last 15 minutes we did manage to go to the next level. Meanwhile, Aston maximized the Eagles' dual registration with League One Hemelstags last weekend with Patty Burns, Blake Broadbent, Kieran Moran and Max Garcia all playing in their defeat to Newcastle. Burns was forced off early after suffering a concussion injury and did not return. Eagles winger Elise McConney, who recently joined London Scholars on loan, was a try scorer in their defeat to Oldham.